one hour later. Good morning. So, in today's video, I am going to do a not really a full face, but some first impressions of things that have been in my last two hauls. Um, typical though, I filmed my haul yesterday, it went live today on YouTube. And today I get my shot of Tilbury. It's delivered, so I might actually save these for another video because I've ordered the new airbrush bronzer. So I'll maybe dedicate a video to these. But yeah, so not all of these products are going to be first impressions. Um, I have my wee basket of the ones that are. So. Without further ado, let's get started. For foundation, I'm going to use the Makeup Obsession Quick Stick in the shade M04. I've used this once before. And I did like this. This is just going to be like a actual review for this. So I'm just going to do a few stripes, and then just blend that in with a brush. So, so far, it is blending in really nice. It's not heavy, it's not sticking to anywhere. It's a good medium coverage. Obviously, there's a few blemishes just on my chin. But has a really lovely glow to it as well which is nice. I am just gonna see if I can build up the coverage just on my chin. Just to see I'm just gonna go in with a wee smaller brush as well. I like that. It's a really lovely golden, warm golden, but it's not orange. I love how you can see freckles, like it's just my skin, but better. But we're concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Conceal and Fix Ultimate Coverage in Light Yellow from Revolution. I showed this in my haul, which just went live on Friday. So I will link that down below. I got this hoping it would be a dupe for the Mars Soft Matte, so <laughs> we'll see. Ooh, it's quite uh, fragranced. Does it smell like, it smells like sun cream or something. And that is what it looks like. So I'm just going to go back in with that wee brush. I'm just going to put this under my eyes. Let's <laughs> So it has definitely covered my under eyes. It's really brightened. It actually went on quite smooth. I was sort of worried that it'd be maybe a bit dry, but no, that went on really nice. I'll see what's like just sort of 
No, oh, there are areas. No. I said probably for some people this shade would be too bright, but I like it. So I would say for like blemishes and things I would maybe get a darker shade just because the coverage is lovely. So yeah. Oh. I like that. That blended really nicely over that foundation as well. So we then for liquid highlight I'm going to put one of the iconic drops. This is the shade Shine. So this is more the pinky one. And I'm just gonna do like three wee teeny tiny dots. Blend that right over the cheek. Right up to the temple as well. Oh, it's crazy how smooth that is on the skin. Oof. Oh, that's lovely. For powder, I don't really have a new powder. Mine is just a Tilbury one that came today. Um, but I've never actually tried this one and I've had it for ages. This is the e.l.f. the under eye powder. So I'm going to give this a whirl. Let's see. Just really lightly tapping this underneath. Gonna bring this on the side of the nose as well. That was really nice. It's almost just completely blurs, like pours everything. Ooh. I am surprised that I've never used this before. <laughs> that is really nice. So it's just completely smoothed that entire area. Even on my forehead as well. Oh, it's not even that expensive, it's like a fiber or something. <laughs> Should I contour it on? I'll do a wee bit of contour. I'm just going to bring this my tardiest contour palette. I'm just going to use the contour shade, but I'll just skip through this one.
bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Revolution Glow. This is the Ultra Matte Bronzer in the shape Light. I recently showed this in my last haul as well. So, let's give this a whirl. There's a wee bit of kick up. Yeah. Not very much, but just sort of lets me know that it will be quite pigmented, so... It smells as well. It smells like pineapple. Oh. I love pineapple. Love it. Just blending in really nicely to the contour. Even just on top of the foundation is blending in really nice. God. What I would say though is if you don't like pineapple, <laughs> you might not like the smell of this. And for blush, I am going to use the Revolution Blusher Reloaded in Violet Love. This is like the wavy, the wavy one. I think this was in my first haul. really nice pretty pink it's blended into the contour and bronzer really well that's nice and then I did have a new highlighter this is the is it Brett Bretman Rock Bretman Rock is that right um, this is like one of his collabs with Wet n Wild, like I think he had like a whole range. Um, but I don't want to ruin the iconic one in case I don't like it. And this one's more gold as well, so... Oh fuck it, may as well. I can just do it in like one cheek. So it is a loose highlighter. It does have like glitter particles, so if you're not a fan of like glittery highlighters, this may not be the one for you. It's quite nice though. It's not really, it's not disturbing the highlighter or Anything like that, so yeah, not too shabby. I'm just gonna go in with my Revolution Soup Brows, and um, I have used this a few times, so I do like it. I just don't like the brush that it comes with, um, so I'm just gonna use like maybe spoolie.
then I'm gonna go in with my Lottie London Arch Rival. This is a wee microblade. And this isn't new either. And then for brow gel, I have this one by Makeup Obsession. So this is the fibre brow gel. Give this way you want to go. The wee fibres do give that. Extra something. That's nice. I was gonna try out the Glisten Cosmetics, so we pastel liners. I think I might save that for another video. Um I did try the vanilla shade yesterday um, yeah I think it might be quite fun to maybe see these for like a graphic eye look or something like that so I am just going to finish off my eyes I'm just going to use the NYX Epic Ink Liner and then the Gosh Bombastic Overdose Mascara and then I will come back I haven't done a wing like this in ages, they aren't even even. <laughs> oh well. So I'm going to set my face now. I'm going to use the Iconic Prep Set Glue in the shade Original. I hope this doesn't get all over my t-shirt actually. To... I'm going to see what the spray is like. Smells nice. Oh, what does that smell like? Oh, it reminds me of something from like childhood. I can't remember. It is quite wet <laughs> and the spray can be quite heavy but I don't really mind that as long as it doesn't like leave droplets on my face you know I'm happy enough but that has added a little extra glue I think Yeah, I may as well just show you what my base looks like. Obviously the foundation has decent coverage, but I would need a spot concealer here. That is not a bad looking base, if I do say so myself. And then for lips, I'm going to use the Morphe Pencil in Bamboo. These pencils are so smooth. They just glide on. And 
And then for lipstick, I'm going to use the Doll Beauty lipstick in FOMO. I think this is the palest one that I have. That's the package in there. I love like a flesh toned nude. I live for it. Really smooth. Really smooth, really good color payoff, it's not sheer, it's not, it looks matte, but it has like a satin feel to it, if that makes sense. <laughs> So just for my final thoughts, the foundation I really like, really good medium but buildable coverage, um, it's not heavy, it's literally just like your skin but better, like you can still see freckles, everything like that, really easy to blend, inexpensive as well, I think it was like 6 or 8 pounds for this, so I really like that. The concealer, I actually really like. Um, some of the videos I've seen on YouTube, well, some people didn't like it. Um, but for me it worked really well. I think I will get a darker shade, just for blemishes. But um, no creamy, pigmented, blendable, it's not heavy, doesn't overly settle into fine lines, like I would have fine lines anyway. So it doesn't really matter what concealer I use, it will settle. But, no, I really like that. The e.l.f. powder, I really like. Um, inexpensive again. Um, it's quite finely milled, it's very smooth, soft, but it, like I mean, it's just completely blurred. All of my pores, around my nose, on my forehead feels set and for the amount that I used it wasn't very much at all so I really like that I'm glad I actually tried this <laughs> what was next oh the liquid illuminator I really like this anything to do with the highlight I'm guaranteed to love it doesn't matter if it's glittery shade really. Um, the only sort of colour I wouldn't necessarily go for would be like bright gold. I'm like that Fenty highlighter that's literally just a gold bar. Um, but I love like pinks, champagnes, light gold in a sense but this is lovely. It didn't pick up the foundation it blended really easily. It didn't highlight any texture so I really like that and then the bronzer I really like it smells like pineapple <laughs> I fucking love pineapple um, if you aren't a fan of maybe scented products or if you have maybe sensitive skin you may want to like I mean you can try it like it's not Oh. Oh, it's not overpowering but you can smell it when you apply it um, but it blended really lovely on top of my contour and foundation didn't go patchy didn't cling to any areas really lovely colour as well the blush to be honest you for me you can't really go wrong with the blush as long as it doesn't pick up the foundation or the bronzer or contour or anything like that, you know, you're winning really. Um, this colour is lovely. If you just want like a nice light flush of colour, 
This is Violet Love. It's lovely. Is it Bret Bretman Rock? Is that how you say it? I think it is. Um, this is the Jungle Rock Duo. I use the lighter shade. Um, it is lovely. It went on my Iconic really nicely. Didn't cling, didn't lift it. Um, what I would say though is if you don't like glittery highlighters, you won't like this, but that does not bother me in the slightest. We brow gel. I like, um, I think I might try this whenever I don't have anything on my brows just to see the difference. Um, but on top of the soap and the wee micro blades by Lottie. Um, no, just to find them a bit more, made them a bit more fluffy. So I do like that. The setting spray is nice. But yeah, so it can be quite wet. Um, it does sort of spit at you a wee bit, but it does add a lovely glue and I'm sure it sort of sets everything in place so and it smells nice as well, it smells like something from my childhood so no I mean that I can't remember and then the lip pencil I really like, I love a good nude um, but it's really creamy, pigmented I feel like once it's on it'll stay on, it's not cre too creamy in the sense that it'll just slide all over the place so I really like that and for the price can't complain. And then the wee doll lipstick, I really like. Pigmented, comfortable, it has, it looks matte but it feels like a satin. Lovely colour, um, has a really good finish, really good opacity, comfortable. I like that. So I would say, to be honest, I would say everything's pretty much a success. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm easy pleased when it comes to makeup, to be honest, as long as it looks nice. It's easy to apply, easy to work with, pigmented. Yeah. So that is the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys liked my sort of first impressions review on some of these new products that I picked up. Um, I will leave my previous two hauls down below um, and then I will do another wee video on those Glisten pastel liners and then I'm also going to save the Charlotte Tilbury items for another video whenever the bronzer comes. I hope you liked the video, um, like and subscribe if you did, it would help and until my next video, bye!